Capricorn, what is popping? Welcome to the Mocha Loves Hero channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing my channel. I make us a little, I make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? Also, um, I would like to thank everyone for my likes, my shares, my subscribes, my comments. Y'all, I read every single comment. I may not can't reply because Mocha been having some real life shit going on in everyday life. But, you know, I try to use my time wisely. But, yeah, I really appreciate it. I do try to react and respond to each and every one of them, okay? Um, also, announcements, announcements. Well, that, that don't really have nothing to do with y'all. Oh, this will be for the mid-month of July, from the 15th to the 31st. This is not a personal reading. It is a general, okay? It may or may not apply to everyone. If it does just a little bit, I'm not 100% booked. I only book within 24 hours out, so... Hit me up today. The latest that you're going to have to wait. You're going to get a response the same day. And the latest that you're going to have to wait is generally like the next day. Unless I have something to do. And I'll let you know beforehand or try to schedule around. Okay. So um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn intuitively. For mid month June, a lot of y'all are walking away from deception. There is a lot of three party energy around y'all. A lot of y'all have, if it's not a third party situation, y'all have a lot of three party situation or three party energy around y'all. A lot of y'all will be walking away from long term relationships. Some of y'all have been dealing with people between five and 15 years, and a lot of y'all are walking away from that. Uh, due to some form of deception, that deception is going to come to the forefront. But I feel like intuitively, a lot of y'all have already known about some form of deception. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all have been keeping those people around for money, or this could be the other person with you, Capricorn. But a lot of foundations that aren't firm will be falling between the 15th and the 31st of July. Okay? Ooh. I feel so much better getting it off my chest. Y'all energy was just, it's real three-ish, okay? <laughs> Can you please give me that message for the sun moon rising? You need to cross watches for the sun sun of Capricorn. It's mid month July. Okay. Capricorn, I see y'all focus on the coins. Y'all getting the coins. Chasing that paper as always. Some of y'all could be dealing with a choice. Some of y'all could be dealing with marriage. On your own business. It's twin flame soulmate season. Okay, we're in the building. We're in the building. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Aquarius. Okay. Mid month July for my Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Whatever it is that you've been working on, mid month July, I do see you will be receiving an offer for whatever it is that you've been putting hard work into. But some of y'all, some of y'all are focusing on mending your families together. Okay, and you have a decision to make. And some did. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all have two directions to go. With these two directions, one is a balanced direction and one is a familiar direction, okay? The familiar direction has to do with maybe someone who you have a family with. You want to give this person a new beginning. You want to come forward with messages or you want this person to make the action towards you and offer something solid. However, either you or the person within your energy is not making a decision, okay? This could be a fire sign that's not making a decision and leaving you a little unsure about what the hell is going to happen because I do see you wanting to move forward, okay, with something or someone. But some of y'all, it's moving forward and starting your own business, okay, and maybe you're worried about, you know, if you're going to be able to balance out the home and the family life with starting your business. Is it going to take too much of your time, okay? Now, it's going to bring in the coin. The coin is blessed here, okay? This is what I first noticed. First off, I had the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? You got the Eight. All right, so whatever it is that you've been walking or whomever you've been dealing with, okay, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like you and this person have been actually trying to work on it together. Maybe you have more than this person, okay? Maybe, Capricorn, you are in a financial stable place and this person has less than you, okay? However, if you, what I'm showing, the Spirit is showing me that if you work on 
if you guys can actually work on the foundations of what you have, God is going to bless you. Okay? So this Ace of Pentacles, whatever you have, if this pertains to a job, a lot of y'all who possibly had to walk away from a job or something that you love doing to take something less than what you're normally used to making, okay? I do see that there's a blessing in disguise coming your way for you take for you humbling yourself, okay? And being grateful. Okay, so Capricorn, I do see some of y'all are having two options to make as far as work. Some of y'all need to know some of y'all are making need needed to make a decision as far as work goes, which way to go. Okay. I'm strongly seeing that. For one for some of y'all some of y'all could be receiving another offer from another Capricorn and you feel like this person is toxic. You feel like they're not going to bring any balance or growth to your life, okay? I feel like some of y'all have a, we'll be hearing about a new beginning, but I feel like with this new, you're starting another job or a new job, y'all. You're going to get information regarding that, okay? I do see that this job is going to bring the coin, but what you don't know is it's meant for you to be in the right place at the right time because a lot of y'all will be meeting y'all soulmates with flame at work. But some of y'all, y'all, y'all wanting to start over or start anew with a come out of a toxic past into something beautiful, possibly with the Gemini. I do see some of y'all want to offer something solid, okay? Something that you've been working on. For some of y'all, you've been dealing with an area that you have children with, okay? And I feel like with this person, there's not well, you're wanting to work on mending. The balance back into the relationship. I feel like you're wanting to mend and work past the things that y'all have gone through in the past. I feel like with this Aries, you want to move forward and offer this person a solid new beginning, a firm foundation. However, because I feel like with this Aryan person, whoever this is, if you don't have a chill child with this person, this is somebody maybe that you can see you having an equal give and take to somebody who I feel like will bring balance into your world. However, you may have been dealing, you could be walking away from a water sign cancer pisces scorpio because this person continuously wants to live in the past i feel like that person is controlling as well okay and this could also be the aries around i mean the aries aries the energy around this aries person i feel like you and this aries person have possibly worked on something in the past maybe you walked away from this person or this person walked away from you because somebody could make a decision on what the hell they want to do with themselves i do see that you move you looking toward this person and you're looking at them like a boss you're looking at them like Check you out. You didn't bossed up, okay? And I feel like you now know you you know you want to bring something to fruition. You want to offer this person something solid because you do want to come in and balance this situation out. But some of y'all y'all could be getting over spilled milk from the past with dealing dealing with the Taurus. But some of y'all y'all have a Taurus in y'all life, but you're kind of holding back on how much you give out because you feel like this person doesn't meet you financially. Like on a 50-50 scale, you kind of not moving forward with your feelings because you're worried about the finances, okay? You're looking at this person like, you know, I'm a boss and you bringing this little page of pinnacles to the table. Like, you know, some of y'all are not making a decision in love with the twin flame soulmate due to finances, okay? But I do feel like an opportunity is coming to, the, to one or both of you, okay, that's going to allow you to actually... Fill up both of your cups and pour out. You're going to have love. You're going to have abundance. You're going to have prosperity. You have everything. Wish up on the star, baby. You have everything that you desire within your grasp. Okay? Let me see. Eight of Pentacles. Scared. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? Oh, okay. Yeah, some of y'all are trying to work past a three-party situation with a water sign. Uh, possibly that you have children with. Okay, but I definitely feel like some of y'all are trying to start over in love after a three-party situation. This is definitely with somebody you have children with going. And you want to offer this person something or accept an offer, okay? Mid-July. Okay, yeah, for some of y'all, it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? I feel like this person, this person, with this person, there is a lot of love. However, this person is not financially stable. I feel like you be the one, like the breadwinner, but this person is also is coming in not financially stable, but they coming in controlling. What they do to that? How you gonna talk shit? Try and run some shit and ain't got shit. Humble yourself, little baby. Somebody in y'all energy, you tell them, uh, uh, be humble. Uh, sit down, okay? Somebody needs to get that memo in the Capricorn energy because I don't think they got it. All right, so some of y'all could, 
have a hard time making a decision on some of y'all it could be a Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. And I feel like you're trusting your intuition and wanting to move forward, but this person is still in this devil ass energy. Okay? And if, if you're wondering, yes they are. If you ain't knowing to reach out, yes. But some of y'all, those of y'all who are dealing with someone toxic, I do see y'all will be experiencing a tower moment, possibly from an, another Capricorn like yourself. This could be with a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or a uh, Taurus or Virgo. All right. I do see you waiting on someone to come in, possibly a fireside. This person, or you wanting to go to them. This person, when you go to them, I feel like this person is very defensive towards you. Okay. And I feel like you are going to communicate, or this person is going to communicate to you, but their communication may come out defensive. Okay. I do see that there is love there. You want to offer this person love. But some of y'all is definitely a water sign. Water babies is showing their face, all right? Some of y'all are wanting to cut through some bullshit and release this toxic energy around the Aries, okay? For some of y'all, y'all definitely have children with this person or maybe had some sort of family dynamic with this person. And I feel like y'all want that old thing back, Capricorn. Somebody is wanting that old thing back. Right, but it's definitely Aries is in the building, Capricorn is in the building, Taurus is in the building, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is in the building, okay? Some of y'all will be cutting off the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or y'all have a water sign spying on you, okay? But I feel like they're, with this person, this is somebody I feel like who you communicate, who you communicate with, who you have dealt with in the past, this air sign. But I feel like this is a person who wants to play victim all the damn time. And y'all finna cut their ass off because you like anybody got time for that. All right. So moving forward. All right. Some of y'all will be having equal give and take with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's going to be after releasing some damn toxic ass energy because there is a lot of love there. As long as nobody is trying to live in no victimized ass state. Okay. With this Taurus, I feel like you can move forward. Some of y'all dealing with Taurus. I feel like in the past, you and this person had issues over money. Y'all had issues over, I feel like there's a some type of three-party energy. But I feel like you and this person is moving away from the past. Both of y'all are moving away from your past. I feel like one or both of y'all are being defensive as far as love goes, even though y'all are each other's wish, okay? Because I feel like somebody's controlling. Somebody is not optimistic, okay? There's definitely... The coin is definitely going to be falling, all right? But I feel like it's going to be doing whatever it is that you're passionate about. Capricorn, with all the crazy shit y'all been having going on, going to going through mid-month July, I feel like a lot of y'all are getting y'all just doing love. And I'm going to say it just like that. Y'all getting y'all just doing love. But some of y'all, y'all loving y'all self and finding out, look, I'm a, I don't have to worry about no equal give and take if I just worry about my damn self because... I'm tired of living with this old victimized ass mindset you got. I'm tired of you putting me back in this place. We going back. A lot of y'all just tired of talking about the past. And then moving forward, y'all are literally, literally going to materialize such beautiful things in your life. Because a lot of y'all don't know if you want to push pause on this shit or keep going. Literally. And some of y'all are definitely dealing with Gemini. All right. But some of y'all, it's definitely in Aquarius because here they go. And here they go. A lot of y'all just really want to fix your family. A lot of y'all literally only dealing with these people to fix your family. And I feel like it's definitely possible there's gonna have need some there's gonna need to be some truth and clarity to be had. And whoever whomever this air sign is or this water sign y'all dealing with, they gotta get out this victimized mode. Stop being defensive toward the earth sign because they don't have enough money as you have. Find a way to balance love and money and compromise, okay? Capricorn, the word for mid month July is compromise. Release let go. Accept the things about people that you cannot change. Love yourself and move forward in doing so. And compromise. And you, everything that you want and you desire, you don't have it. Because a lot of y'all are definitely dealing with a soulmate twin flame. Some of y'all are literally just dealing with someone for your family. But quit. You better watch how you treat people. Because I feel strongly this earth sign, this earth sign, this Taurus. But some of y'all is a Taurus. This Taurus got huge financial opportunities coming and so do you this ace of pentacles is here twice be careful with them <laughs> if they treat you good do you know what you're doing whose feelings that you hurt in the bruising because everybody don't let you come back and i feel like if you're dealing with an aries or a leo y'all having a hard time getting back with them because they're not really letting y'all come back i'm just kind of 
seeing that in these cards. There can be victory, but in first time somebody mentions the past, one of y'all gonna hit the deck because I feel like y'all tired of this shit. Okay, y'all let me know how that how that resonates because this is what I have for y'all for mid month July. I also had two angel messages for y'all. Hold on, all these cards, y'all. This doesn't make no sense. Me and these nails and I getting along. I'm having the hardest time ripping shit. I know y'all hear this table choo choo choo. Sheesh. Let's see. Come on now. Do not blame me for it. All right. First angel message you have is the Popolite that says increase support. Your positive. Oh, so I'm gonna show y'all the cards. They're so pretty. These Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels cards. A Popolite. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Like I said, Capricorn, while all hell was breaking loose, y'all had y'all y'all had y'all nose in the grindstone. Y'all was working y'all ass off. So everything that you that you were gaining this mid month July, you deserve every single bit of it. But it's also it doesn't take away from the fact of what did you learn? Because to every blessing comes a lesson. Okay? And I feel like Capricorn the whole purpose behind some of this shit and letting go is learning how to turn your ills into lessons. Okay. Um, the next I have is tiger's eye. Okay. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in the God working through you. For those of you who are optimistic on moving forward with somebody who you just accepting that defeat as attitude, like, oh no, you're still a jerk. Oh no, this is not going to go well. You don't know unless you try. And if you claim defeat, then you've already lost. Okay? Respect. Put some respect on the God that moves through you. Don't allow anybody to treat you any kind of way. Don't allow anybody to be a petty fucking patty when you're moving on all positivity. Okay? And don't allow anybody to move you, to, to take you back to a place in your past when you've bust your ass hurling shit to try to move forward and still think about their ass in order to fix it, but they still want to live victimized. That's not your problem. You chose to grow, you chose to ascend, and you choose who comes and who goes and who stays in your life, but don't do it from a shallow place. How much money a person has does not define how they're going to love you. Because you don't never know. That 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 person who wasn't bothered, they can hit the lottery tomorrow, but they'll never forget how you treated them and how you made them feel. Just like you would it. Think about what I'm saying. I love y'all very much. Please like, share, and subscribe on this video. If you don't, I won't love you no less. I love you more. Mm -hmm. Deuces, baby. If y'all need that personal, hit me up. It's in the description. Bye, booze.